landing sequence for an Apollo capsule was very straightforward and very simple. After the initial atmospheric braking, you fall straight down, pop out a series of parachutes to slow you further, until the parachutes themselves gently deposit you on the surface of the ocean. That's the theory. What should be a routine procedure turns bad. I have a problem. Suddenly, their eyes start to water. Their faces are burning. Something is going terribly, terribly wrong. <coughs> Something is in the cabin air, and it's corrosive and potentially deadly. Mission Commander Thomas Stafford identifies the threat. Stafford sees the yellow-brown mist, he smells it, and he instantly realizes exactly what it is. One of the most deadly substances used in manned spaceflight. <laughs> Nitrogen tetroxide is a very caustic, corrosive, and poisonous gas. It can kill you in minutes. At 30,000 feet, the capsule is falling at 300 miles per hour. They managed to manually deploy the parachutes, thousands of feet too low. They're going to splash down, but they're going to hit, and they're going to hit hard. The Apollo capsule hits the ocean so fast, it tips upside down, trapping the suffocating astronauts inside. <laughs> the upside down capsule's air vents are blocked by water. Stafford knows that his crewmates may have only minutes to live. He can hear Slayton coughing, but he hears nothing coming from Brand. And he recognizes that his crew member is in serious trouble. He looks over, and Brand has passed out. He has to find the oxygen masks. He finds them and puts one on to Brand, who miraculously, Brand begins to regain consciousness again. He also gives one to Slayton and puts one on himself. The capsule has a limited oxygen supply. It's a quick reprieve, but his crew is still in trouble. Stafford can now focus on getting the capsule upright so that they can finally get some fresh air. He deploys purpose-designed floats in the Apollo's nose cone to get it upright. He can finally open the vents. The craft is suddenly filled with fresh air. They can breathe again. You can imagine, this was the sweetest air this crew has ever tasted. <laughs> 